Morgan Inlet, North Carolina. Welcome to Fish to Season. Another cold day at Oregon Inlet. Decided to come out here and do some drifting. Got about a dead tide right now. <laughs> and it's creating some funky currents with the wind and stuff we got today. Come out here to a hole that's about 60 foot deep. Right here near the bridge. It's a cool place to fish whenever tide gets down low. It's blue fish weak fish and different things come in here and feed so we're going to come in here squid for bait and double rigs and see if we can't catch a few fish we're good like something's good huh i got something good what it is oh uh-uh it's coming in Maybe a ray. If this is not a ray, it's... What do I got? It's coming up the top. No ray. I don't think so either. It's gonna be though. Do I got it's a big old something blue, blue gold blue. <laughs> That's a blue. That's a blue. That is pretty. That's a pretty blue. Perfect size. Friends hooked up with something here. It let go. Probably a blue fish. There's a few been catching a few blues out here. Let's see. We're just making circles, ain't we? The wind pushes up that way and we go out and the current takes us back down. We just make a big circle. Crane's got something. Big old puffer. Big puffer. Karina just caught a monster puffer. Look at the size of that puffer. He blew away. Some people say these are toxic, but. Um, our species up here, I think this is called the Atlantic Puffer. Or no, Northern Puffer, my bad. Northern Puffer. And these aren't toxic like some of them you hear about. Gosh, I ain't never seen them get that tight. You see it? Like a little baseball. I have never in my life seen one get that one up. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Two somethings. 
two blues. And a popping on. I got something. It was bad for you. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's a bee. Trout. Inches. I'm looking for a 15 incher. I'm going trophy fishing for trout. Back into the fish now. Andre. What's that got? Here, your guess is good as mine. Grouper. <laughs> cool. They had drill in something. I'm guessing blue. One big one. Is that a blue or a trout? It's a blue. It's a big one. this time.
zipped up too. bass and wrap them on one. No. There it goes. Somehow. Some miracle. His dad had two pig fish. Crane has a, a big old black sea bass for inshore. One of these days we'll catch a keeper inshore. Oh yeah, I did. I forgot about it. That's over there. Just, just was a keeper. Yeah. Remember that. Yeah. Junk fish. This was down in an up, an obstruction, so it's probably a black sea bass. I could feel whatever it was that he was around. What a big fish. What did you get? That's a croaker. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, that is a new species. First croaker of the trip. <laughs> is it growing on you? That's Dad's keeper trout for the day. <laughs> Very nice, weak fish. Try to find them one more time. Oh, Look how yellow inside his mouth is. I think that's my keeper. So now we got a limited trout. Or weak fish, whatever you want to call them. That's a hefty one right there. I like that. What is that? I guess that answers what it was. Size trail. Then I live it, so he's going back. 
Yep. Two of them. Got blue. A blue and a drought. Odd combo. <laughs> Blue's big enough to eat. Ah, oh, come on, dude. What is it? Nice little blue fish. Bad ain't speckled. Is that a key? Oh, that's a big Huh? No. I said too bad it ain't speckled. See? I caught a blue. Is he drumming? Yep. No. No. And that one was on twist. Piddled around out here until we found a concentration of fish. There's always. We have a rule that we've developed. There's two things, two parts to it. If you're not catching nothing, move until you just keep moving. Don't just sit still. So, one part of it. And then the other parts don't leave fish to find fish. <laughs> uh, Unless you caught enough of the species unless, to catch fish. Yeah. <laughs> There's always exceptions to the rule. Very Come on. <laughs> Are you on there? He's on there this time. I might have two. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. Nope. Just one good one. Look at that one. Another trout. Or weak fish. I know we keep calling them trout, but they're weak fish. Same thing, though. Just for giggles. 14. Up. You probably threw out two of them, didn't you? Dad's got sea moss. Big fish. Kind of a jump right here. The bite slowed down and the wind is getting annoying, so we headed back. We're going to show you how to clean a puffer that we finally got out there. Clean his puffer. Like I said, not toxic on this uh, northern puffer. We're going to come in right behind the fins with a knife on top of its head. Just, clean. Just get that spinal column cut. Turn this inside out pretty much. Just like that. All that will just peel right. This works a little bit better if you have a pair of pliers to get a hold of the spine. Works a lot better. <laughs> Look, there. Just like that. And that's that's 
completely cleaned. You can trim the fins off if you like. Yeah. Fried up. It's like a, eating a chicken wing. <laughs> but we love to get a cooler full of these, but apparently they move in thicker in December. And some people like to cut off the fins and then eat them as chips. Yeah, you can, I've done that before with crappy. I don't know how it would be on a puffer fish, but uh, fins, ain't, fins ain't terrible to eat. So, thanks for watching. We caught a good variety of fish on, just drifting around, find them on Dead Finder. Yeah, it's hard to predict what you're going to catch when you're fishing that style. Yeah, Anything. you never know. Bluefish, trout, Puffer. puffers, croakers, all kinds. Whatever's in will bite. So, thanks for sticking with us. We'll catch you on the next one.